from that show with that guy. And all summer, we've been hanging out outside and I've been showing you all the should do's and the should not do's of camp. But a couple friends recently asked me, they said, hey, Caleb, you've been telling us all the tricks for outdoor living. Do you have any tips and tricks for that hashtag camp cabin life? <laughs> and you know I do. At camp, the inside of your cabin is like a home away from home, if you will. A resting place, a place to recharge and refuel at the end of the day. And there are certain things you should definitely do in the inside of your cabin, like middle bunks. <laughs> middle bunks are where it's at. <laughs> and you should also definitely take use of the sinks and showers while you're at camp. Let's be honest, camp is hot, you stink, and so does your brain. So make sure you take use of these things on the regular. Uh, but there are also some things you probably shouldn't do while at camp. If you've got some height on you, you should not pick a top bunk. Don't get a bed by a window. Sunrise is brutal. Do not throw your stuff on the floor. It'll probably end up being someone's napkin. Don't slack on your hygiene. Nobody wants to be involved in your personal challenge to see how many days you can go without a shower. So yeah, take it from me, friends. Uh, camp cabin life is legit and awesome. Just make sure you remember what you shouldn't do. Signing off for today. Stay saucy, love on somebody. See you next time. <laughs> Peace. Jesus said, come, follow me, Matthew 4.19. What's up, Camp Upstreet? We have been talking this summer about what it looks like to follow Jesus. In order to do this, I want to talk about a word I'm sure you've heard of, but this word doesn't get much airtime in the real world. That's because when it comes to showing others this, doing this, being this, well, it's pretty rare. So today, I want to talk to you about the word humble. Do you know what the word humble means? Why don't you turn to someone around you and tell them what you think it means? Three, two, one, go. To be humble means not thinking of yourself as better than other people. Hmm, no wonder this word isn't all that popular. Thinking about yourself, putting yourself first, well, that's easy. But putting others first? Yeah, that's where it gets a whole lot harder. Let's see if we can spot it in action. 
Let's watch a few short GIFs. If you think it's an example of someone being humble, give a big thumbs up. But if it's an example of someone not being humble, you probably know where I'm going with this. Yep, I wanna see a big thumbs down. Okay, here we go. How about this one? Okay, okay, or this, thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, what about this guy? Check this one out. All right, last one. It's pretty easy to spot the people and animals that are acting humble in these gifts, right? Being humble means we think about other people before we think about ourselves. People like our families, our friends, even people we don't know very well. When we put others first, we're being humble. And you know who did this? Jesus. Here's what Paul had to say about Jesus in Philippians 2. Jesus was God's son. So if anyone could have gotten away with a free pass, it was him. But Paul said Jesus serves others. He was humble and obeyed God completely. It's like this. Jesus, being the son of God, could have said, hey everybody, I'm like the king over everything. You should really put me first. But he didn't. Instead, he put others first all the time. He healed people when they were sick. He fed people when they were hungry. He even gave up sleep to help people. He even got down on his hands and knees and washed the stinky, dirty feet of his friends. Talk about a humbling job. Jesus chose to be humble. When he could have chosen to go first, to be the most important person in the room, Jesus acted like a servant. Jesus put others first. If we wanna follow Jesus, guess what? We have got to be humble. Instead of propping ourselves up, making us look like we're more important than everyone else, we need to do the opposite. We need to put others first. So when you have a choice to think about yourself or others, you need to remember to follow Jesus and be humble. Now, I know I need help with this. You probably do too. So let's talk to God and ask him to help us be humble this week. God, thank you so much for sending Jesus. Help us this week to follow him by being humble. Remind us that when we have a choice, we should put others first. And when we put others first, we're showing them your love. We love you, amen. Yeah.